Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 6. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with you is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray you, unto the Yardan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray you, and go with at your servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to the Yardan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, Eth the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of Elohim said, Where fell it? And he showed him Eth the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to you. And he put out his hand and took it. Then the king of Aram warred against Yashadael, and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of Elohim sent unto the king of Yashadael, saying, Beware that you pass not such a place, for thither the Aramim are come down. And the king of Yashadael sent to the place which the man of Elohim told him and warned him of, and saved himself there, not once nor twice. Therefore the heart of the king of Aram was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Yashedael? And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Yashedael, tells the king of Yashedael eth the words that you speak in your bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent the thither, rather, sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servants of the man of Elohim was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host in Rather, a host compassed at the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahuwah, I pray you, openeth his eyes that he may see. And Yahuwah opened up the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto El Yahuwah and said, Smite at this people, I pray you, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom ye seek. But he led them to Shomoron. And it came to pass, when they were come into Shomoron, that Elisha said, Yahuwah, openeth the eyes of these men that they may see. And Yahuwah opened up their eyes, and they saw, and behold, they were in the midst of Shomoron. And the king of Yashadael said unto Elisha, when he saw them, My father, shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he answered, You shall not smite them, 
Would you smite those whom you have taken captive with your sword and with your bow? Set bread and water before them, that they may eat and drink, and go to their master. And he prepared great provision for them, and when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away, and they went to their master. So the bands of Aram came no more into the land of Yashadael. And it came to pass after this that Bain Hadad, king of Aram, gathered at all his host, and went up and besieged Shomoron. And there was a great famine in Shomoron, and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for fourscore pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of doves dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Yashadael was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help, my lord, O king. And he said, If Yahuwah do not help you, whence shall I help you? Out of the barn floor, or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What ails you? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give eth your son, that we may eat him today, and we will eat eth my son tomorrow. So we boiled eth my son, and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give eth your son, that we may eat him. And she has hid at her son. And it came to pass, when the king heard at the words of the woman, that he rent at his clothes, and he passed by upon the wall, and the people looked. And behold, he had sackcloth within upon his flesh. Then he said, Elohim, do so, and more also to me. If the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house, and the elders sat with him, and the king sent a man from before him. But ere the messenger came to him, he said to the elders, See ye how this son of a murderer has sent to take away eth my head. Look, when the messenger comes, shut the door and hold him fast at the door. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while he yet talked with them, behold, the messengers came down unto him, and he said, Behold, this evil is of Yahuwah. What should I wait for Yahuwah any longer?